already beginning to see the warnings from your colleague. I mean, first of all, we've heard prominent party chiefs talk about, you know, the, the need for unity, the need to listen to one another in this process. We've heard the former president, uh, President Goodluck Jonathan, he looks to be throwing his weight behind somebody else other than uh, Prince Uche Sekundus. We also see you were in Mina, <laughs> you went to Niger State to yeah. meet with former president, yes. um, former military president, um, Ibrahim Babangida, yeah. even though we do not know the, the, the bottom of the conversation that you had. He also seems to be throwing his weight behind uh, another candidate they seem to be rooting for it do you think how do you think that this influences will play out uh, tomorrow at the convention I can, I can tell you that it is not correct you know most of the things you read on pages of the people are things planted by aspirants in order to have support it is not correct mind you this election is not a general election it's an election targeted a certain group of persons delegates so it is not where you're going to address 2,000 persons. No. You only go for those who will vote at the election, at the convention. Take, for example, we have 36 states. The highest number of the, 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 the state that has the highest number of delegates is Aquabom State, 140 delegates. So if you're able to go to Aquabom State and look at those who are influential members of the party that will deliver these delegates to you, you don't need to go to the entire archive to speak to them. You are not running a general election. Mm. I'm very curious, though. I mean, I'm reading this book right now. It's written by somebody who tried to win, who tried to get the party's ticket here in Abuja. She wanted to run for the House of Representatives. Her name is Aisha Osuri. She talked about the delegate system. She said it's one of the most confusing systems, uh, even within the PDP. How do you think, I mean, or how can you explain to our viewers, how are delegates elected? Now, delegates are elected this way. Now, in each state, first of all, the, the category committee will bring out their timetable to say that, starting from next week, for example, we'll have what we call what delegates. That what delegates will be those who will elect the local government delegates, what we call as national uh, delegates. So, in this case, you have three power delegates. Now, if I have in my local government, which is 17 wards, and then you have three part delegates, uh, three, uh, three delegates, the three times uh, 17, 17, and then you have party officers, like party chairman, deputy party chairman, these are automatic delegates to that and uh, electing the national delegates. So they will be the delegates that will elect one person from that local government that will become a national delegate. So that is how delegates have been elected. And you also know that for you to be a delegate, the local government must have known the kind of person you are. You must have been a committed party person to go and represent them at the national convention. Mm, so they are, I know they are automatic delegates. The automatic delegates are what are called delegates. Mm. Like the party chairman, like the governor, the automatic members of the National Assembly, Members of the Assembly, these are statutory delegates. But this one by local government, I would call elected national delegates. What about special delegates? Uh, there's not a special delegates. You don't have that anymore? Not, what, what, what we have, what we call observers, there's no special delegates. What about ad hoc delegates? The ad hoc delegates are these three delegates per award. I see. That will go to elect the national delegates at the local government. So they call them ad hoc delegates. Okay. So. We have heard over time that, you know, the delegate system is the most tricky of the systems. And oftentimes, uh, you know, they look at that position as, a, as the position of a cash cow. Uh, they're hoping that, you know, they will be able to get something from maybe perhaps the highest that, bidder. That, that's, that's how, most... how much of an influence do you think that money will be at the PDP National Convention tomorrow? Look, there's no election that money will not be involved because you talk about logistics. You talk about moving their delegates down to the national convention. Who is moving the delegates? The states. The states. So take, for example, delegates coming from River State must be sponsored by the party. They will have accommodation. So this is where it, when you talk about money, in terms of logistics, you cannot come to Abuja. And do you think that the person will stay outside? The person has to be accommodated. So in terms of logistics, yes, money will come in. But apart from that, how, how many delegates can you buy? 
the number of delegates we are talking about here is not less than 2,000 delegates. And they all come from different states. So how do you get to the delegates to buy the delegates? Mm. Well, we'll answer that question. or We'll attempt and answer it uh, when we come back from this break. We'll also be asking uh, how things will eventually pan out tomorrow. Will they, be, will they be able to survive this test of unity at the National Elective Convention of the PDP tomorrow? Please stay with us.